Go check out FIFACoinTrader.com for excellent deals in buying and selling coins on FIFA Ultimate Team. Yo, 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 it's Coley Bo bringing you this pack opening video on my channel and there is one reason and pretty much one reason only uh, why I am opening packs today and that reason is none other than Arjen Robin. Look at that, 90 rated in form. His stats are absolutely insane. Look at that, 94 pace, 94 dribbling. That's crazy. Also, he's got uh, high 80s in shooting and passing. Look at all them green pairs over the top. The defending and heading obviously doesn't matter. Play him up there at right wing and he'll be an absolute machine. You've also got Gervinho, who will go for a decent amount for Tongan and uh, Pizchek or a couple of the other uh, decent players that might go for a bit uh, so we will be opening gold packs there's no real uh, good silver players unfortunately so let's jump straight into the store and we're going to be opening 7500 gold coin packs and uh, i'll be opening as many as i can anyways we will uh, let them play through and i was actually away for the weekend i went to paris with my girlfriend it was a very fun trip went away for uh, five days i think it was uh stayed four nights and was away for five days but it was absolutely incredible the city of paris is just amazing and uh, we did all the touristy stuff i suppose like uh we went to go see the Eiffel Tower, obviously, was the big one. we seen that at night and at daytime. Uh, we went to the Arc de Triomphe, and that was actually probably one of the best things about Paris, to be honest. Uh, I thought it was just literally a big arch uh, in the middle of the city, and that was it. Uh, you just got to look at it and marvel at it. But you could actually go inside the Arc de Triomphe, go up inside, and there's like a little kind of, I suppose, half museum. It's got a couple of things there. There's a store in there, and there's also like a camera that shows uh, straight down so you can see people that are walking underneath it uh, it's pretty cool there's a lot of cool things in it uh but that was definitely uh one of uh i suppose my favorite things that we've done in paris we went to the louvre and uh, we seen all you know them as uh, i suppose pyramid uh, style glass i i don't know uh, what you'd call them at I suppose mirrors or something, but they were pretty cool uh, We went on a boat ride down the River Seine to see everything at night And that was actually really cool that uh, learned a bit about all the bridges along the River Seine and different stuff like that But I, I mean we went to Notre Dame uh, Castle or Notre Dame however you say it uh, We went not castle. It's not a castle. It's a uh, it's a church uh, but that was really cool. Or it's a cathedral, I suppose. Uh, but that was uh, pretty cool as well. We did a lot of things. Uh, but the one thing is, I'd say food is probably one of the most expensive things over there. That's where we spent uh, the majority of our money. But it was such a fun uh, place to go. It was just like i know it sounds a bit uh, i suppose cheesy and stuff but it was really beautiful the city and i would definitely definitely go back it was uh it was a fun little trip and it was nice to get away for a few days uh, from ireland because i was uh i did i suppose a hard 12 weeks of university and i'd finished up last wednesday uh, in terms of finishing all my lectures and my tutorials and basically finishing with the actual college work and then i had three weeks off and now i've got exams starting on the 17th 17th or 18th of april and i'm finished up the 24th so i'm off for good for the summer on the 24th of april in about two and a half three weeks time so that will be uh good uh, because i will be able uh, well i'll be moving home and i'll be able to play a lot more fifa i'll be able to uh i suppose do a lot uh make a lot of more videos and put i suppose more time into training which is one thing uh, which i wish i had more time to do is training because i'm actually decent at training <laughs> but i suppose i just don't get enough time to uh, trade all that often so when i get home i'm actually hoping to start uh, the 1001 million in one month series again that's uh that was one of my aims that i wanted to do but I, obviously uh, with university going on i wasn't able to do that series because that series i mean when i did that last year I was, I, I had a year off from university, I was on my year out, I was living at home, and I had all the time in the world, I had nothing to do, I didn't have a job, all I did was just make videos, uh, and put them onto the YouTubes, so I had a day and night basically I spent uh, trading, and that's all I done, I well, I didn't spend, I, I trade for I'd say about five to six hours a day for maybe seven hours and then i'd edit the videos take me like an hour or two uh do the commentary whatever and do all that and then i would upload and my upload speed at home is horrible so it would take me about three hours to upload but that was basically my day i'd wake up 
spend the whole day doing that in between like eating and doing all that stuff and then upload for the next day and that's what I done and I mean I had plenty of time I loved doing it and it was a great series it actually helped my channel a lot I think I gained like 3,000 subs when I uh, brought that series out and I had it started off at about 1,500 I finished with about 4,500 in the space of a month and if you guys uh, I suppose if there is any YouTubers that are at around that mark, that 1500 mark, you'll realize that a jump in 3000 in a month is absolutely incredible. It was a massive growth for me, especially back uh, back then when the likes of Nepenthes and Cal Freezy and all were on maybe about 20,000 subs at that time, uh, 15,000, 20,000. So to move up that much uh, was absolutely incredible for me. So I do hope to bring that back. And that is pretty much my plan, you know, uh, exactly what I'm going to do. But you'll see there, I haven't been getting anything all that great in these packs. Uh, so a bit disappointing but actually I uh, just let you know I will actually be going on holidays once again once I finish my exams uh, on the 27th I'm going to Valencia uh, for about 12 days so I'll be back on May 8th and then I'll be uh, back May 8th and I won't be uh, won't be back in college till the middle of September so I have all the months to play FIFA and get stuck in and make a lot of good videos so you'll be uh, pleased to hear of that but you see there I didn't get anything great in that pack what we'll do is we'll open uh, one more go on we'll do one more and see if we get anything good if we don't that is it for this pack opening Javi Martinez did that say I think it did uh, oh I thought it was uh, the guy who plays for uh, Bayern Munich so nothing great in that pack we'll uh, stab uh, take the contracts out but that is pretty much it for this pack open i do hope you enjoyed it. if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time